Hey everyone, this is Megan Elizabeth with AboveRubyStudio.com and I'm here with the Cricut Expression 2 and I have a bunch to show you today and I'm really excited because we're going to be working with a really awesome material material from the Buckle Boutique and this this rhinestone adhesive sheeting and it's fabulous there's an adhesive back on here and it's almost like a resin it's not a hard solid rhinestone so you can cut shapes from this using your deep cut blade and the Cricut Expression or Cricut Expression 2 or any other die cutting machine that you may have so again this is from the Buckle Boutique and we met them out at CHA and I'm so excited about this um, the sheets are phenomenal uh, they are not cheap sheets by any stretch of the imagination but what they are it's a great value because it's just rhinestone after rhinestone after rhinestone on this adhesive backing so you can use it for apparel you can use it for scrapbooking you can use it for decorating your cell phone which is what I'm going to do and many 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 other things so I'm gonna go ahead and get started showing you guys how to do fit to page set your paper size your material size on your cutting mat use the deep cut blade and this adhesive rhinestone material. First thing we're going to do is we're going to unscrew the little um, arm here, not all the way, just enough that it swings out, and I'm putting in my deep cut blade housing. There is actually a difference with this deep cut blade and the deep cut blade housing, so if you don't have this, this is what you'll need for cutting this material in your Cricut Expression 2, as well as many other um, deeper blade cut materials. If you have the Cricut Cutting Guide, it specifies whether or not you need the deep cut blade for different projects that you're using. So I'm going to set this in here and I am actually going to use the blade depth of six on here. Get that settled in. Make sure that arrow is facing forward. So I'm on blade depth six. I'm going to place my adhesive down. Now I have three different sheets. Isn't this gorgeous? I love this pink and purple. Oh my goodness, it's so fun. But I'm going to start with the gold because I want a gold emblem on something I'm working on. I think it'll be really cool. So what we're going to do is place down my material on my cutting mat. I'm going to place it in this upper left corner. Okay, just like this. You can see it's in the upper left corner. I still have space on this end and at the bottom here. I'm going to press it down really firmly. This is something you're going to need a very almost new or newly refurbished cutting mat on. You need it to be very, very sticky to hold things in place. Okay, now let's get down to the images we want to cut out. I have everything loaded on here and I also have my deep cut blade in place. I'm using the Art Philosophy Cricut cartridge, but you can use any, obviously, any cartridge you would want to use. I'm going to select my images and I'll zoom you guys in here. Let's take a closer look, shall we? I'm going to click on my little um, cartridge finder here. I'm going to use the cartridge loaded. I'm going to do the letter M. I'm going to do a capital M. A capital M. And I really, really like some of the flourishes in here, so I'm going to select a flourish. And let's see. I want to do like a basic shape. So let's see. There's some really cool, more basic shapes on here. Ooh, how about a butterfly? Ooh, that could be really cool. Let's see. Could this butterfly work? We're going to do the heart, and we're going to do this butterfly. And I have four images selected here, and then I'm going to go hit my home screen. It's a little house. And you can see they're all on my cutting mat here. Now what I'm going to do is use the uh, set page size first. So I'm going to click on the little screwdriver. Then I'm going to go, this one allows me to select my paper size. So I can select where it's going, you know, how wide or how big it is. So it is, let's see, it's 11 inches by 10 and a quarter inches. And that's my actual paper size. So we can save that. It should come up right here on our screen. You can see there's the extra space on this outer edge here. And that's exa almost exactly what it is on my cutting mat. So you just want to make sure that where it's grayed out is also where you don't have materials on your die cutting mat. It's great that you can actually see this directly and you don't have to guess. And you can do this right from this screen in the expression too. So this is how you kind of move things around. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an auto um, fit to page here. Most people think when you use fit to page you have to use just one image and it makes it as big as it possibly can be. But you can use multiple images and get a fit to page on your material size, which is perfect for what we're trying to do, especially when this is more expensive and you want to use every last little bit of it you possibly can. 
So now we're going to load it into our die cutting machine. I'm going to press that home screen again and I'm going to make sure I load in my mat. Okay. Now I'm going to need to really work with my settings here. We want to make sure our settings are correct. So we're going to press the cut button and it's going to bring up what this is. And this is going to be a very, we're going to put it as heavy paper. We're going to need to use a multi cut. So we want to make sure we have multi cut turned on. Let's do turn it on two. We are using the, we're going to use deep cut blade, but it's deep cut blade six. Okay, it's set on custom. So we're going to do this at um, original blade six because it, it only gives you the pen, the option for the pen here for some reason. So we're going to do original blade six. We're going to do multi cut of two. We're going to do a pressure of five, should be fine. And we're going to reduce our speed all the way down to two. We want to go really slow. So it's going to take a while for this to cut out, but I think the results are totally worth it. We're going to press the cut button. And let's get started. Now I can see it is ripping some of the backing sheet, but it's cutting all the way through. So I'm not too concerned about it at this point. We're going to kind of watch it and see what happens exactly, but I think it's going to be awesome. Okay, so it's finally finished cutting. We can unload. It takes a while when you're doing multi-cut of so many, but you can see I got really, you know, that's pretty intricate for this kind of material, I think, personally, and it's going to pop right out. Now, you could do a multi-cut of three to be absolutely sure, um, but this is really, it's peeling right out of here. It's, again, it's kind of gel-like. I don't really know how... I don't know how else to describe it, but this is how, again, you can use multi-cut or fit to page on multiple images. You don't just have to select one. You use up every little bit of space that you possibly can. Look how cute this is. And it cuts right through the center of the rhinestones. Like, there's nothing cooler. There's nothing cooler out there to get any shape you want in a rhinestone pattern. You can put this on apparel. You can put this on your cell phones. It's just the coolest stuff in the entire world. I wish I would have invented it. Trust me, I wish I would have invented it. But anyway, this is uh, the cool stuff from CHA 2012, and this is how you use your Cricut Expression 2. Thanks guys so much for watching. Please enjoy the moments, and I'll see you guys again really, really soon at AboveRubyStudio.com. Bye-bye! Okay, so I wanted to... <clears throat> I'm back. I wanted to... Sh I wanted to show you what I'm going to stick this to. I have this really cool, well, I don't know how cool it is, but it's a filing box that I wanted to bling up a little bit. So I cut out the letter M with the rhinestone material, and I didn't show you how easy it is to peel off and stick. And you can stick it on, it's like the coolest kind of adhesive. It's a very strong industrial strength um, adhesive. You can stick it on the wall and it kind of still peels off and doesn't leave a mark, but at the same time it sticks to fabric and you can peel it off and on. I don't I don't know what it is. I don't know what kind of adhesive this is, but it's really cool stuff. It's very strong. So anyway, we're just going to peel off and I'm just going to place this on here right on my file box. And I think it's so cool. Anyway, since it was a pink file box, I thought the gold was the perfect accent for this. And look how it's just, it's like rhinestones. It's like I hand set each and every one of these little tiny rhinestones right on here, but yet they're cut like in half. It you can't get any cooler than this. So I'm going to put a heart right next to the M. And then everybody will know that this is Megan's little file box. Again, guys, thanks so much for watching. And I can't wait to see you again soon at AboveRubyStudio.com. Enjoy the moments. Bye.